Last year, during the height of the pandemic, as I came home and approached my front door, I heard these cries bellowing from inside. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. To my surprise, as I opened up the door, there was my eight-year-old on the verge of what it seems was a nervous breakdown. So I ran on over to him and I said, son, what's the matter? And he looked at me and said, daddy, I can't dig it anymore. I am tired of being locked in this house. I want McDonald's. I said, what? He said, I want McDonald's so bad. These lockdowns have locked me out and let me down. Contest master, fellow prisoners, former and current, good evening. I couldn't believe it. An eight-year-old cracking under the weight of COVID. These lockdowns have sent a little eight-year-old crazy. Anytime our prime minister goes up to give a national address, I immediately have two bowel movements, one before he starts and the other immediately after he's done and announced another lockdown restriction. I reached to a point where I called my mom and channeled my inner Oprah Winfrey color purple voice and said, oh my life, oh my life, you have never given me a curfew. And now that I am a grown man, the prime minister has given me a curfew. Her response was swift and vicious. She said, well, you always wanted a daddy. There you go. So I had to do what any other parent would do facing a global, global pandemic. And that was to create an app that would change reality as we knew it. So whenever the prime minister goes and give a national address, there'll be a three second delay. So when he begins his speech with my fellow Bahamians, the app would change his words to friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. When he proceeds to announce that another report is being completed and things are just not looking good, the app will change his words to We've just had another report and whoo wee you sure dodged a bullet today. No longer will we hear about restrictions of food stores and restaurants. Instead, we'll hear that food stores, liquor stores, strip clubs, I mean churches will be open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And oh, those little rugrats that run over and over and over through the house, no more virtual schooling. Schools, in fact, will be open seven days a week, 12 hours a day. You can bring them over anytime. And when he uses words like quarantine, the app will change those words to party in the backyard, backyard barbecue. The man for this app has gotten so great that my friends from all over the world wanted to get part of it. And so no longer will my Cuban friends hear their leaders say, no, senor. Instead, the app will change their words to, ay, papi. My Jamaican friends, no longer will they hear their leaders says, everything mush up. Instead, the app will change those words to, everything I remind. But my American friends, I haven't forgotten you. No longer will you worry about stay at home orders or mass mandates. Instead, you will hear words like Black Lives Matter or make America great again. Now I know what you're saying. Coronavirus is a very serious disease. I get it. Anytime they mention the effects of coronavirus on fat people, my kids immediately give me the evil eye. 
but I don't consider myself fat. I consider myself chuff, you know, <laughs> chubby and buff, <laughs> chuff. So I understand what we have to do. Even if you are afraid of taking a shot because of a needle, don't be. I'm afraid of needles. I cried and I fainted at least twice. And when I woke up, the nurse said to me, you're the bravest of all the persons that I've seen fainted today. Ladies and gentlemen, I designed this app so that my kids could enjoy being just that, kids. They have plenty of time to be disappointed in prime ministers, preachers, and politicians. Instead, I want them to enjoy their lives. Otherwise, we would allow lockdowns to let us down and lock us out from fulfilling our dreams. The only thing I wish I did was put a mute button on this app because anytime I pass those golden arches, I am sure to hear my little eight-year-old say, I want McDonald's so bad, contest master.